Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on a Dining Dynasty. In this video, we're getting ready for our first game now. One of the things I want to show you guys quickly is my logo and my unis. Top right hand corner, you can see my logo pretty much like my channel logo, the uh, the little burger with the splat. That is my logo. And rocking some black and red unis, tentative unis. I might mix the colors up soon. I probably will mix the colors up the more and more we play. At least I think each division, I'll mix the colors up. Check out the cleats. I got the red October cleats. Yo, these cleats are fire. But yeah, these are the home unis. And these quickly are the away unis. Kind of rush these, pinstripes, red and gray, nothing too crazy, yellow jacket. But yeah, pretty much one thing I do like about this game is the customization. Also, the logos. If you guys need a logo, just go to the logo vault and you can download some logos. My logo is uploaded there too. I think it's listed under burger in the description. It's Cullen. I don't know how you find the logo, but yeah, it's up there if you can find it. So feel free to get that if you want it. Now, also, guys, today, even though this isn't a pack pulling game, we're going to be pulling some more packs. So here we go, I got some packs loaded up, six pitcher packs, position packs, and standard packs. And also, I wanted to put these packs because now I know what I'm getting out of packs and what all everything does. So let's do it, man. So here we go, position pack. I do need some position players, some infielders. Let's see what we got. I don't get this, man. PS3 system only. What does this mean? Why is this only on the PS3 system? That kind of bothers me. Oh, damn. This guy's a 49 overall. Is that a joke? All right, this pack wasn't too crazy. We did get a catcher. 81 overall, he's probably a good hitter too. And we got a golden thong sandal. The Jesus sandal, baby. We got it. We got a Jesus sandal. Next pack up, baby. Let's see what's in this one. We got the porch. Clint Robinson. Yo, these overalls are so terrible. Give me a break. This pack right here wasn't too great either, but no worries. I will show you guys what we can do with these ass cards in a second. Also, quickly, these sponsorships, I believe these are for franchise mode and stuff like that. They aren't for Diamond Dynasty, but since you pull stuff for franchise mode and road to the show, I think I might start up a road to the show. I don't know, we'll see anything is possible. Position pack number three, see what's going on in this one. And once again, I think you can pull legends out of packs and insane pools, you just haven't got any yet. Also guys, since I'm the MLB The Show new and don't watch too much baseball, if I pull any gems, any beasts, let me know in the comments, any guys I should get in my rotation or starting lineup, let me know man. Any guys you think should be a lead off hitter, let me know. Now this glove right here, this is for Diamond Dynasty, and I'll show you guys what that does after we're done with the packs. Oh, look at this, got a Dominic Brown, 76 overall, probably my best pull all day. Got a Rawlings bat, once again, that is for Diamond Dynasty. I guess I'll pull a pitcher's pack real quick, see if I can get me a nice, a nice starting pitcher. Ooh, Franklin Glove, okay. Sam Leck here, Wilton Lopez, Paul Clemens. Damn it, man, low overall is galore, though. I got a pretty solid team. I guess I should have showed you guys the team before I pulled these packs, but the majority of these guys, I, honestly, I can't use them. I should just load it up on the position packs, because that's what I need. A, a good first baseman and maybe a good third baseman. Oh, here we go. Good first baseman, Joe Mauer. Exactly what we needed. 81 overall. I will take it. And we got a Wilson sponsorship. Here is another position pack. Can we get another infielder? Here we go. Uh-oh, I see a goal back there. Oh, let's go, baby. Adrian Gonzalez, another first baseman. That's my first gold card. I like the way it looks, too. It's like a gold leaf fill up top. That's a really good pickup. I should have a great infield now. And we got a Trophy Hunters trophy. Okay, let's go. Position packs are kind of fire. I think in the future I might just pull position packs because I think I'm already set when it comes to pitchers and my pitcher packs have been pretty, pretty lame in my opinion. Now we got two standard packs. I could get pitchers or positional players out of here. See what's going on in these bad boys. Quickly revealing. Don't see anything too crazy. Under Armour sponsorship. And my final pack, standard pack. Let's see what's going on in this bad boy. Nothing too crazy. Oh, okay. 83 overall closing pitcher. Let's go. Franklin Glove. And we got another glove. Okay. All right, so we pulled the packs. Now it's time to apply these players. And right here, you can kind of see my roster, man. You can kind of see it. I got two bronzes, two golds, and a Deion Sanders and a Rios. Deion Sanders, I will explain him very soon. But first, let's go. Let's go put the squad together. And we should be getting a new, a new third baseman and a new shortstop. Now, I'm not sure if playing players out of position affects anything. But I think we're going to... I think I'm going to get Adrian Gonzalez on the field. So I might play him at third base. At third base, he's an 85 overall still, so I think I think that's cool. That works. Finally, Deion Sanders. One component of Diamond Dynasty, or at least in the previous modes, you can create players and essentially create your own legends and build them up. Now, this year you can only do one player like that, so I decided to go with the Deion Sanders. Now, also this year the recycler is gone, so instead of recycling players, you feed them to your created player. So we're gonna train Deion by feeding him players. And if you guys play stuff like WWE Supercar, this should be very, very familiar to you. Pretty much you feed them players, and let's say if, if you feed them some power hitters, they're gonna be a power hitter. If you feed him some fast players, he's gonna be a fast player. If you feed him a bunch of pitchers, he's gonna be a really good pitcher. Now me, I've, I've fed him a lot of infielders, so he's a really good second baseman. I could probably play him at shortstop too. 
be honest, I wanted to make him an outfielder, but I never came across too many beastly outfielders to make him a beastly outfielder, you know? Right here though, quickly you can see, after I confirm this feeding, he's gonna go up from an 87 overall to an 89 overall. Now, I might be feeding him too much, I don't know. Maybe I should do some collections, because in this game, they do have collections, and if you knock at the collections, you get a legend, but I don't know, man, I'm just... I'm just feeding it right now, pretty much. That's all I'm doing. Then also, when it comes to those collections, I'm not sure if this game is like 2K. In 2K, if you do a collection, you don't lose those players. In this game, if I can do collections and not lose those players, I might start knocking out collections and just run with a bunch of legends very, very, very soon. I think we might be able to do that. I could be wrong, but I don't know. We'll see. We will definitely try it out as we get more familiar with Diamond Dynasty. Here's another quick feeding for Dion. All right, boosting him up to a 91 overall. Yo, Dion's going to be a stud. He's gonna be a stud. Now also with your Diamond Dynasty player, you can give them equipment, and this is where those bats we pull, those Jesus sandals we pull, this is where that comes into play. The equipment we pull gives players boosts, so you can see, you can choose his bat, his gloves, his other glove, his cleats, and a ritual. Ooh, look at this, Jesus sandals gives him a plus seven power compared to this one, which is a plus four contact, plus four power, I don't know. I don't know, but the Jesus sandals look so rare, and they're giving him plus sevens, I gotta go with it. Check out my cleats. I think I'm using the best cleats, right? I think these Air Max cleats are the best ones. Oh, look at this, this Wilson glove. I think this one might be better than the Rowling's glove. This one gives me, what, 10, 12 points of boost. This one gives me 15 points of boost, though, so I guess, I guess I'll stick with the Rowling's glove. And I think we're good with the Under Armour batting gloves, too, so we should be good to go, man. Should be good to go. Now, quickly, guys, before I end this video, if you guys can let me know in the comments, some of you, some of you Diamond Dynasty veterans, can I knock out these collections and sell these cards back when I'm done with it? Because I think, I think we could afford to do some of these with the MT, or with the, not the MT, with the stubs we have. I think we might be able to do that, but I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, but just let me know in the comments, and I think that's it, guys. We're pretty much done for, for this video. Team's looking nice. 79 overall, Deion Sanders, 93 overall. Deion Sanders, I believe, just hit the diamond tier in Diamond Dynasty, so that's my first diamond card, Deion Sanders, who we created. Shortstop, still gotta run shortstop, probably need to mix that up, but so far, man, looking good. Next video should be our first game with the Burger Busters. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace.